was a really rainy day, which actually made it perfect for strolling around the city. It wasn't very crowded, and finding parking was actually pretty easy once we figured out what we were looking for. Our first stop was the Kookaburra. Pretty much every single vlog blog about St. Augustine recommended the Kookaburra, so I had to give it a try. I tried the honey badger and it was delicious. Absolutely perfect for a cozy rainy day, people watching. I would say our favorite part of the trip was probably walking around all of the shops on St. George Street. Robbie and I always find these quirky, whimsical, magical places and this did not disappoint. After we wandered around for a bit, it was obviously time for a snack. The Hippo is a gourmet popsicle restaurant, which both Robbie and I were very excited about and it did not disappoint. They had such unique flavors. I got the blueberry lavender lemonade and Robbie got the buckeye. They were so good. Our next stop was the Castillo de San Marcos, which is a really historical fort in St. Augustine. It was really cool to walk around, to read all the plaques, and just to be in the environment and see the incredible architecture. Finally, it was time for lunch and Robbie and I had the most delicious grilled cheeses. They even made mine vegan. After lunch, we strolled through the art district, which was really beautiful.
fabulous things about St. Augustine was the incredible architecture. We walked around the Leitner Museum and then later went over to Flagler College. My phone was dying so I didn't get too much footage, but I can tell you that it was absolutely stunning and I would highly recommend walking around the grounds. We just checked into the cozy inn. I'm gonna give you a tiny room tour of our tiny but adorable room. Robbie's Check very on. cozy. I'm very cozy. <laughs> we got a little one bedroom. All the reviews I read said it was very clean and they were very right. I love this little plant in the corner. I'm a sucker for a plant. Oh, wow. This little mm -hmm. alcove, that's our closet. Cute little kitchen table with chairs that I wanna take home with me. Our little tiny bathroom. It is very clean. And everything looks very new, which is nice. And the little shower. It's so stinking cute. I love all of the like old school kind of beachy looking East Coasty style. And they gave us cute keychains, which I thought was fun. Show them your That's dinner fun. fit. Oh. This is horrible lighting. Hold yeah. on. I mean, I'm I know. A, a short sleeve button down. You nailed it. You crushed it. You nailed it. Thank you. I'm wearing a questionable number of buttons on the <laughs> I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore earlier today, but it's because it's raining and it's I'm the really only thing. For her. <laughs> Stop it. I always hate when I like miss out on a chance to wear another outfit, but I made it slightly more fancy with a pearl headband and a slick back bun because it's raining and the hair is not gonna cooperate anyways. This is my sunshiny dress that I got from Marshall's the other day. Robbie, where's your sh your outfit from? No, I have no idea. Gabe's probably. <laughs> The pants are from Uniqlo, the shoes are Adidas Stan Smiths, okay, I think yeah. the, the shirt is probably somewhere from Gabe's, Definitely from and Gabe's. the hoodie is H&M. And it's at least 14 years old, that hoodie. Uh, close to mm -hmm. it, no, you, almost a decade. When you love something, when you, you, love know, something, you, you never let it, it go. It tears apart. I'll see you tomorrow.
It's been a decently cloud-covered morning, but the sun just peeked through, and you guys, it's so beautiful. I can't stop crying in like the best way. I feel so blissfully happy. It's just, it's so stunning. <sighs> Get ready. Good morning, my angels. What a beautiful morning it has been so far. I came to the beach to catch the sunrise. I'm a morning person. I'm like a 5 a.m. or type of person. My dad's the same way. I honestly think that's potentially genetic. I actually like really think it's genetic. Anyway, so I love, I love mornings and knowing we are gonna be on the east coast of Florida made me really excited and maybe a reason why I picked St. Augustine because I knew I'd be able to catch the sunrise on the beach. And it was absolutely stunning. I went to the Kookaburra, which we went to yesterday, the one downtown, but I noticed that there was one beachside here as well. And so when I was kind of prepping myself for this morning, I let Robbie sleep in because he's not a morning person and I wanted a solo moment in at the beach. That's why I love the mornings. I love having that solo time. So when I was looking up, you know, figuring out when I was going to leave, I was like, I probably will want to have coffee when I get to the beach because I'm going to sit there for a minute and I need some caffeine. And I found that the Kookaburra had a location beachside as well. This is the Aussie coffee shop which I have a lot of friends from Australia thanks to cruise ships and so it just felt really fun to go here I got their PC latte which was caramel and vanilla and it was very very good but I had asked the barista there if she had any recommendations for places to park she suggested she was like I don't know what it's called but if you drive down this road like a half a mile you turn left there's like a green sign it's like a dirt road and then you walk down a boardwalk and nobody's ever there which to me I would much prefer a less habitated habitated <laughs> made that word up <laughs> I would much prefer more of a private beach setting than like the local public party beach. Not that this is a party beach, but you know what I mean. And so I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to try it. It's seven in the morning. Worst that can happen is I turn around and so I found it and I like found this little parking lot. It was also pitch black essentially because the sun had not even was like barely starting to come up at that point. So I pulled into this parking lot. Part of me was like, this is, this could be the place I get killed. But I was like, but I feel like there might be magic here. And so I walked out and I, this morning has been full of signs. I'm a very big believer in signs and the universe and, and generally just like spirituality. And it makes me really happy. And I feel like I've kind of awakened to that more so later in life. And my mom has as well, my friends. And anyways, so I've been struggling to be completely honest with what I'm going to do with my life and what I'm doing and what's the purpose. And so I'm just kind of looking for things. And that's why YouTube has been such a fun creative outlet coming from the musical theater world. I love performance and I love talking to people and gosh, I don't even know how to explain it, but I miss that part of my life. And the past few years with how the industry has gone and how I feel about the industry and my experience with the toxicity of it, you know, I have a lot of healing to do around it. And that's what I spent the majority of my life assuming I was going to do musical theater. And in the past few years, because of the pandemic, and even before that, I felt myself kind of tiptoeing out of the industry. And then I got to this point where I'm 30, I'm married, there's a pandemic, <laughs> there's no performance happening in general. I'm not really sure if I even like the industry anymore, if it hurts me more than it does bring me joy. And so I'm 30, wanting to start a family in the next few years, and I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. <laughs> so it's very scary as coming at someone who literally woke up when she was a kid and knew she was going to be a singer. Period. End of story. I didn't think about anything else, <laughs> like for most of my life. So I'm kind of restarting and 
So I'm always looking for <laughs> signs to put me in a direction because I don't really have one. And this morning, gosh, talk about signs. I walked out onto the boardwalk and I heard this bird, beautiful bird song. It's still very dark at this point. I, I tried to capture a little bit of it. I hope, I hope you could see it. And there's a cardinal, which is the state bird of Ohio. <laughs> right when I moved here, I saw a cardinal too. And it just felt like very much like, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I just stopped in my tracks when I saw this cardinal because first of all, it was beautiful. The song it was singing was beautiful. And then it like swooped over me and it just felt really cool. And obviously sitting on the beach, it was just absolutely stunning. And I journaled and I just felt like I got all of these messages, like really good things. Nothing like exact, like Liz, you need to do this with your life, but just felt really uplifting. And as I was about to leave, the sun started shining and I looked out and I saw dolphins. I wasn't able to capture it on camera, but kind of felt like it was just for me anyways. And it just, I just started sobbing in the most wonderful way of like, it felt very much like a release. Like it kind of felt like a release of the old to bring in the new, but really what it kind of felt like was bringing back out the old, like who I am, the like ch my inner child, I suppose, and letting out everything else I've taken on that's not mine in the past however many years. And it just felt so powerful. And then as I'm about to get back into my car, I found a penny, which has been a very big sign for me in the past probably six months. So just like a really good vibe morning. And I hope I brought those high vibes to you. I hope you get a little bit of that through the imagery I was able to capture because I don't know that I can describe the absolute bliss I felt this morning. And it's a perfect way to end out my birthday month. So for any of my other Pisces, my water babies, this one's for you. <laughs> I'm filming you cuz that's how you do vlogging Robbie and it's safe <laughs> I can't with, with your legs tucked up this is what happens when you marry a vampire <laughs> and you don't get an umbrella that's big enough I thought this umbrella was gonna supply a lot more shade for him it doesn't. It's okay. trip to St. Augustine, I look a little crazed. <laughs> 
I didn't get to end the vlog yesterday because in the middle of our time at the beach, I started having a really bad allergy attack. I am a very sensitive person. I've always had seasonal allergies, so that makes sense. It's spring, but I also didn't get sleep the night before because I've noticed that when I sleep in a new place, like a place I don't know, like usually a hotel, recently, this is not always the case, I have a really hard time sleeping the first night in there. My body seems to like wake up every hour being like, we good? And we're fine. Which is funny because I lived for probably two years of my life on a tour bus in a different hotel almost every night and had no problem sleeping. <laughs> I want to kind of figure out a good routine for traveling so that I can get sleep so I don't have to feel so exhausted the next day. <laughs> if I am lacking sleep, like like by a good amount, my nose starts like running. I start having allergy symptoms, I start sneezing, I get really congested in my n n nose area, as you can see my poor little nose. <laughs> But anyways, it was it was still fun and we had a great morning and a great early afternoon at the beach and I'm honestly glad we left when we did because we knew we would get caught in traffic because Florida traffic is wild. So we got home uh, early evening which was really nice so settled in and read my book and fell asleep early which was great and I slept so much today. That was the rest that we needed keeping the vacation vibes going. We had a really good time. I'm so excited to be able to share all of it with you. We have a lot of traveling coming Coming up which is really nice and overwhelming at the same time especially having spent two plus years not but I'm glad that we can do it and do it as safely as possible so I'm excited to share more of that with you guys let me know if there's anything you want to see I hope you guys have a great day cheers